His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. I was at the grocery store the other day, and I'm like taking my groceries to my trunk and putting them all in, and I have the empty cart, and then you know it's like such a hassle because you have to bring the cart back to the little corral thing. Well, this lady, she's like, uh, hey, I'll take your cart for you. She was going in, and I was leaving. And I thought that's so simple, but so nice. It just really brightened my day. There are definitely some people at the grocery store that are more positive than others. But I saw this funny video, and they say there are eight types of grocery store shoppers. And as I go through these, I want you to think, are you one of these or have you ever been? Okay, first of all, there's the guy who thinks he doesn't need a cart. Which I say guy liberally because I've been that guy. Like, I will carry everything and I'm like dropping stuff and trying to get to the checkout. And then I think, oh, wait, I need this. And I pile it on top of that. There's also the ghost, you know, the person who abandons their shopping cart. And you're like, who who owns this shopping cart? Like, who put all the food in there and then just disappeared? Where'd they go? That's Rob. Then there's the reunion, you know, people who have, like, full-on conversations and block the whole aisle that's you. while that's, they're doing it. That's Jim. No. <laughs> okay. The snacker? I don't... Is this real? They say there's people who go ahead and open the bag of chips or, like, start eating the grapes while they're still at the grocery store. Yes, I've seen it. Really? Mm-hmm. That's Jim. I thought that was made up. <laughs> there's the person who takes a while to get their cash together uh, and has to have exact change yeah. and then ends up just writing a check. Do Girl, people still write checks? It's the person in front of me. That's Jim. That is not me. That's Jim. <laughs> Or, no, this is Jim. I can see this being Jim. They call it the proxy, the person who has to call home and figure out, like, (laughs) what's minced garlic? Where do I find it? Whatever. Is that you? Sometimes it's happened. Yeah. That's me. I never go to the grocery store and my wife sends me. I don't there know what go. aisle to go down. It's uh, more Rob. Okay, Rob. I can see you do that. I wander. This is neither of you. The inspector, the person who makes every decision very carefully no. and it looks at everything. I don't see you guys doing that at all. No, no. That's not Jim. And then there's me, the couponer, which I can uh, totally relate to. Have a coupon. There it is. So 20 bottles of shampoo and triple coupon bonus buys. I think you owe me $3.50. That's totally been me. For real? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Have you been given money before? Well, a lot of stores don't have that policy anymore, but I have walked out and not had to pay anything. Whoa. That's called stealing, isn't it? (laughs) That's called (laughs) stealing. There you go.